Greetings metal community, it's Roger back with another video, death metal, vinyls, one CD, rest of this pile is vinyls and there's a nice stack of them, um, probably gonna be a long video. In the background we are listening to Dead Chasm from Italy, uh, has at least one member from uh, Fukufatu, uh, it is like this dirty old doomy death metal as you can hear kind of reminds me a little bit of decomposed from england back in the days if you know about them great ep uh, came out uh, a month ago or something uh, go and check out Je Ch dead chasm i will of course link it up below so um yeah over to the vinyls not gonna talk so much about these because uh that would take too long Obsi Obscure Infinity from Germany, um, Putrefying Illusions. Uh, this album came out in, yeah, I don't remember exactly when. It has this small um, inner, uh, this was in 12. This is one of the best albums. Um, they started out pretty much as a straightforward death metal band, um, but they uh, gradually incorporated created a little bit more um, uh, yeah melodic like a little bit more towards the Gothenburg scene in Sweden but not much still brutal enough and uh, but this album is just a, a great German death metal album and if you haven't heard Obscure Infinity do start out with the earlier stuff because I think they are the best Then we have the album that I've seen a lot of people show and all sorts. Um, Through a Warren of Shadow. Uh, yeah, this was a, kind of a blind buy. I just have say, seen a lot of people show this and, uh, you know, went for it. It was on sale, so why not? Uh, I do think it's a black vinyl. Yeah. Proper cardboard inner as I like him released on uh, pulverized records um, yeah this obscure infinity is uh, of course um, FDA records so you know kind of what style they are but they are more deathy than a lot of the other uh, yeah great death metal album I uh, was very surprised by this kind of a little bit evil evil sounding death metal I would say uh, yeah if you haven't checked this out you should because yeah this was a nice surprise even though a lot of people had talking uh, warmly about it uh, you know I make up my own mind about stuff anyway so yeah I've shown the new Dark Millennium this is the previous uh, that came out in uh, 2018 through uh, Massacre Records still can't uh, stand the artwork but um, this is not as good as the new one, of course, because that's excellent, but uh, this is a uh, pretty good uh, release as well. Great release. Uh, but it's kind of a little bit less of everything that the new album has, so uh, so it, when you listen first to the new one and listen to this afterwards, it's kind of... Yeah, but uh, it's growing and it's, it's the same style that the new one. You get a lot of progressive death metal, heavy metal, uh, technical metal, uh, just a lot of things going on with Dark Millennium, so, um, but you know, if you have heard the new one, uh, you have to expect this to be a little bit, you know, it's not far behind, but uh, it's, the new one is just so brilliant. Temple of Dread, uh, this is their third album, I think, uh, 2021. Yeah, it's just, yeah, Swedish uh, old school death metal sounding. Um, this is on Testimony Records. I don't remember which country these guys are from. I think they are German. I think they are from Germany. Um, so, so they have this Germany slash Swedish style that a lot of those bands have. This is on a, uh, actually a cool color merge uh, you know red blood red black and um, i'm not swirls 
merged uh, vinyl can be very cool. This is one of the few that I really like, so um, happy to have this one. I think this was pretty limited as well. Yeah, I think they are just solid. Um, the kind of they don't deviate from a lot of the other bands that do the same style, so you kind of know what you get. I can put that to later. Then I got, uh, you know, I have this on picture disc you know, from many years back, but got it thrown. The Christ Hunt is the only thing that I haven't had on a proper format. I don't like picture disc. They sound not very good. Uh, this is pretty raw and brutal death metal. Uh, if you consider um, the um, the rest of the stuff that God the Throne has released, uh, this is just very simplistic, straightforward death metal and uh, brutal f for for the name. You know, um, they turn out more melodic uh, on the second album, which is killer. But uh, yeah, it's just fun to have. It's not a yeah, it's not a fantastic release. Black vinyl. I can show you the inner as well but I uh, just want to have all the stuff on on proper uh, edition I don't count picture disc as proper uh, that's just me but uh, yeah just to complete my God the Throne collection then a band that I showed a couple of CDs from the last um, update profanity from Germany and just look at this excellent cover this is just so damn killer cover. Uh, as I said, brutal technical death metal uh, with gradually more tech death in, involved in it. But they don't have this... Uh, uh, due to the drummer, is is pretty good at changing up his pace because uh, you don't have as much of this um, tech death band, you know. They have the drummer playing as fast as he can, but uh, this drummer changes up uh, a lot of his drumming and does a very good job. Uh, great album, uh, but you have to have, uh, you know, you have to like some tech death to get into this uh, uh, album. And the earlier stuff is less tech death in him, but uh, still a lot of just brutal death metal as well. So uh, great, great stuff. And uh, yeah, one of the coolest cover I have received. Uh, this uh, came out 2020, uh, you know, it's a self-release. I ordered it directly from the band. I don't know if they have um, more copies. It was a colored version. Um, a lot of colored vinyl this time. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's an okay variant, but um, yeah. would of course have my vinyl as I always say on black because that's the um, best color or black is not a color but you know what I mean then the new uh, Purgatory another German uh, death metal band uh, yeah kind of slightly unhappy with the cover at least the logo and they do have a poster with the um, you know, the other cover that's on at least the CDs, I think there's a vinyl edition with this cover as well. Apostasies of Anti-Light is the title of the band. And on the back side we have a clear photo of all the members. Um, Purgatory is an old band. I think the first release came out in 96 or something. Uh, they change up for every release. Uh, you don't know what you get with Purgatory. This was a blind buy for me because I have uh, all their other stuff, so uh, I just ordered it. Uh, pretty evil sounding this time. Um, great album, uh, but it, it always takes a time to, to get into the new albums by Purgatory because uh, sometimes it's just old school killer death metal. This time it's kind of an evil, more technical death metal. So, um, but still, they deliver quality stuff again and uh, it's just uh, you, you, you need some time to adjust to the new style in a way that they have on yeah they just change up you don't never know what's coming and kind of cool but 
yeah, demands a little bit more work from my part, but that's okay. Uh, then over to an album that disappointed me uh, quite a bit, Skepti Skepticism's new um, album, Companion, released on Swart Records uh, last year, I think. The inner. Yeah, this is um, 2020 was it released. This album is kind of, it's not bad, it's just that kind of the synths are taking a little bit too much space. Um, it makes a little bit too soft in a way, it's not, um, it's, an, it's not enough power in the production in a way. Uh, you know, songwriting is as always, but uh, it's probably due to the production or just the sound and the balance of the sound that yeah I need to spend more time with this and, and give it another go but uh, it, it, it was quite disappointing uh, I actually first time I listened to it I just listened to one song and took it off but uh, yeah um, it might grow on me uh, I don't think so my least favorite album of, of, of skepticism but uh, the older stuff is killer, so it's, you know, it's great to have older releases anyway, so. Then a album that I don't remember anything from, but I think it's Testimony Records, uh, Slithering Decay. I think this is just straightforward. There is no inner or whatsoever. If you have this album with an inner, please let me know, because it's boring. There's no information that, you know, doesn't help, and it's a but ugly vinyl as well, you know, clear orange or um, something. But uh, you know, it's 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 not bad. It's just that, um, yeah, it was a little bit too. There's nothing that kind of separates them from the masses at all. So, uh, but uh, it's, it's solid, and I'm sure a lot of people will love this. And it's a killer cover. But as I said. No winner, this was sealed when I got it, so um, I don't know. Kind of hopeless to have an album, there's no information at all. Uh, kind of makes the whole experience, yeah, not bad, but do check them out. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who love this, but uh, for me it was just a, a, a good listen. Then a uh, pretty killer album overall, uh, Perdition Temple. Sacraments of Dissension. Very cool cover. Uh, I love the covers of Perdition Temple. I also love the music. This is kind of a, um, a towards early Morbid Angel in a way. Uh, that that type of uh, kind of proto death, almost uh, early death metal. Uh, pretty fast, vicious. Um, yeah, comes with a poster. Not sure if that's very interesting, but it's a very cool poster of the cover and uh, yeah, cool, cool stuff. This is this might end up on the wall. Frame it and put it on the wall. That's good stuff. Um, this is um, Hell's Headbangers release. Uh, you know, again, thick cardboard inner, which I think is awesome. I, of course, have some problems with this album, um, and that is the um, kick drums or bass drums or whatever you call them. They are fucking boring on this album. He has kind of three speeds, uh, and that's uh, fast and uh, faster, and uh, you know that's uh, kind of same like beat with with bass and uh, snare drum, um, a little, very little variation. And also the production on the bass drums, uh, kick drums are, uh, they're just too high in the production, kind of like a um, triggered, uh, that when he plays fast on them, they kind of step up in the production and it is annoying. I hate when they can't balance the, the bass drums properly or the drums in general, but uh, overall this is a killer, not a killer, it's a great release and, uh, but, but the kick drums are spoiling it a little bit to me but if you don't mind that kind of crap that I am my mind is just fucked with that type of shit uh, go and check it out because uh, you know musically vocals and you know the overall production is great it's just a kick drums uh, apart from that great release 
Then an uh, yeah, old one. It's a couple of years old. Uh, a tremendous. Uh, with uh, Stigian, of course. Uh, love the artwork again. Tomas uh, Lewandowski is one of my absolute favorite um, cover art artists. Um, Marius or Mariutz, I don't know how you pronounce his first name. Colored vinyl again. This is a reissue. It's an okay, you know, black, you know, purple, blue swirl or merge or what the fuck you gonna call it um yeah, funeral doom great heavy perfect production great songs uh yeah i think everybody who's into um to death doom knows about this and have this and have this very big booklet with the story so yeah Cool, uh, you know, overall a cool release and a great, great uh, funeral doom, funeral death doom album. Then an album that uh, I would never have picked up if uh, Liam over at uh, Death Doom Metal had hasn't had if he hadn't showed this in a video. Uh, it's odd. Take up my bones. Uh, Kind of traditional doom, uh, in in a way, of, at least in the base. Uh, pretty uh, awesome record. Uh, the reason why I didn't listen to this, uh, for me, this cover speaks like um, atmospheric black metal, which I rarely look into. And so I'm very happy that he showed this and uh, made me listen to it because this was a a really good listen and it's good to get some, um, you know, just. Uh, normal doom as well, not just deathy stuff. So uh, yeah, thanks for the tip um, on that, Liam. Uh, and you were spot on what you said about this record. Great, great release. Then two vinyl reissues. Uh, I have them on CD, but it's a band from Netherlands called uh, Anthropomorphia, Evangelium, uh, and, uh, Necromantia. Uh, this originally came out in um, somewhere in time. Got a, a nice thank you note for the from the band, which is always fun. Uh, order it directly from the band. Uh, I don't know if they have copies left. Uh, this is a um, very weird color, kind of a purple uh, marble purple. Uh, never seen this before. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of purple in the cover, so so yeah, it's it's not bad. But uh, yeah, black would have been better, but uh, it's not. I don't decide what gets printed. There's also a poster of the um, cover. I don't remember when this album was recorded, but um, yeah, you probably know this band. Great, uh, heavy. Death metal, a little bit evil, uh, killer vocals as well. Uh, just one of my, you know, one of the bands the last 10 years that uh, have been, yeah, just pounding out excellent death metal releases. I also got the, um, this is a 300 limited edition, as you can see, 201. This is the um, Rights of Perversion album. It's Metal Blade release, but uh, you know the band sold them directly from their Bandcamp site. Uh, I think this was a black one. Or... Yes, it was. Uh, again, just it has this kind of uh, everything is perfect. You know, the production is perfect, uh, vocals are perfect, uh, heavy as f, and uh, evil sounding death metal. Um, just a, you know, if you haven't heard Anthropomorphia, go and check them out. And you, they did release a album in the 90s, uh, which was excellent as well. That has been reissued um, through the crypt. But yeah, now I have all the anthropo Anthropomorphia on vinyl, which is killer to have. And we're gonna restart the CD. 
Then we are going into some, uh, you know, 20 buck spin. We can start off with uh, uh, Atrabilis Apex Apex Apian. Uh, yeah, technical, brutal death metal. Uh, overall, pretty pretty damn good uh, stuff. Uh, don't like the um, kind of screamy vocals when they do that. It's just not for me, but uh, but overall, it's a, it's a great release. I don't care about pulling out the poster because you know the poster from Twenty Bucks Spin are massive. Uh, but yeah, if you like, you know, technical, brutal, death metal, uh, and you like the uh, kind of metalcore vocals that are here somewhere, it's not directly metalcore, because then I would hate this album, but uh, it has this kind of uh, towards black metal, and um, it's two different singing styles, and if you're a great growler, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you can do that type of vocals good in my opinion, uh, but great cover and uh, overall a, a, a solid release. Then we have uh, two very well-known Dream on Ending, absolute killer, progressive death doom, just a, yeah, killer album. Yeah, just stopped recording suddenly, but uh, yeah. Just continuing with the uh, same album, you know, Killer, Progressive, uh, Death Doom. Um, have this, um, have this cool uh, inner stuff. Uh, I think that's cool. It's totally unnecessary, but uh, yeah. Two guys responsible for this excellent album. Um, yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. I've listened to this a lot, uh, and it's just growing, and, and definitely one of the best albums last year. Uh, would have been high on my list if I had received it earlier, and it's it's kind of that, it's so much interesting things going on on this album that it's just, yeah, don't grow tired of this, even though I've listened to it a ton of times, as I used to say. Just hope that my uh, recording continues. Um, yeah, another one of those worm forever glade. You know, you don't have to say anything about this album because everybody has spoken highly of it. And uh, you know, I think they deserve it. Uh, put it in a polyline sleeve, of course, because these paper sleeves are not good. Uh, it was on black vinyl, yeah. Yeah, everybody knows uh, this album, and uh, this is kind of the the um, evil evil twin of these two uh, two albums. They are in the same genre, you know, but this is kind of the evil, more uh, heavy, and more uh, not simplistic, but it's kind of have this uh, more black atmosphere in it. Whilst this uh, other is more progressive, so uh, but two excellent releases. Um, I'm pretty sure that everybody has listened to these because they have been getting a lot of good reviews. Um, then have, we have the first EP, Cadaver Fumes, uh, the no longer existing um, brilliant French death metal, Dimensions Obscure. Yeah, they released this and they released the full length uh, last year that was absolute killer. Um, and this is also absolute killer death metal. Uh, if you like the newest album, you would like this as well. Um, damn shame that they don't uh, don't exist anymore because this is just top-notch death metal. And yeah, there's nothing more to say about that. Go and listen to it. That's the only thing I have to say. Cadaveric fumes is uh, brilliant. And then uh, finally, last but not least, uh, I had to have the. Uh, Unleashed demos, yet the dark and revenge on vinyl. Just had to have them. I love those uh, demos. I think this was a black vinyl, yeah. Um, have a 
poster as well. This was uh, Floga Records uh, release from um, 2015. This is a really cool poster. You know, great, great artwork. And uh, it's uh, Mr. Castellano who has made the um, artwork. You know, he is a kind of Ian Riddick or probably the best two on these types of um, black and white uh, cover art. But yeah, Unleashed, love the band and uh, great demos. Yeah, that was all I had or it was probably more than enough. Um, thanks for watching, there will be more videos pretty soon and uh, yeah hope you are uh, enjoyed this one uh, subscribe if you want uh, comment uh, it's always fun um, and uh, be sure